Hey y'all, Monk Joseph here. Um, I, I left something out. I, I can't believe I actually forgot this. You know, Shardatashi Gaelchen, please forgive me. Uh, Bond community, please forgive me. So I'll go ahead and redo this video right now. Um, this is for the jump, shake, ha, bet. This was actually um, part of Shardatashi Gaelchen's curriculum as brought to us in Alejandro Charles' book on Chopur. Um, and I totally left out the jump, which is like probably the most fun for somebody who's doing these yogas recreationally for fun, right? So just to cover it, I'll do it one time and then explain it and do it again. So here it is, ready? Ha, 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 bet. All right, so what that, so this, according to the book and what they say about him, you should, uh, what Shards of Tasha Gaelchen uh, had said, according to Alejandro Trouble, was that after you're done each troll court exercise, you should get up and do this. Um, I like to do it at the end of either every three, every part of Salong movements, or after doing all five. Personally, I normally do it after the five, but there are times where I get up and jump and shake uh, and ha and bat because I just need to. So covering again, um, you'll get up, you'll jump, all right, and when you shake, you're going to go, ha, and this, I don't know the spirit for implications, but in Chinese medicine, this just stimulates uh, heart function, okay, so you'll do your ha, and then like I said, for me, for the second ha, I like to vibrate my limbs and kind of drop myself rooting into the ground, and I can feel myself dumping energy into the ground, and that's my second ha, because the translation was to shake and ha, when you read the translation, you'll see why I did that for the second one, um, and then for the third one, I just breathe out all my air, as you're supposed to, say ha fet, and then I breathe in the air of an enlightened reality. Or if you really want to go crazy with your visualizations, when you breathe out all the air and go ha fet, imagine a huge wave or ball is emanating from you that encompasses the entire world. And as you breathe in, you are now in a pure land where everybody is enlightened. That's a fun one. Okay? And I'm doing all this in this split second of that, you know, that breathe out ha fet. All right, and in case you don't know because you're a Westerner watching this, bet is how you dispel evil or negativity, negative energies. Um, the way that it's explained in the scriptures I think you'll enjoy, it's like a boat cutting in the water. And you have this like serenity of no negative energy or um, evil spirits or whatever you may uh, deem towards this uh, in your way for that period of time. So again, it's just like, a, you know, an arrow giving you a space uh, of cleanliness. It's not going to be like, you know, everlasting, but you know, there's times where you do the, the five bets in a row to kind of get that the ship really going. Sometimes you need to clear out some negativity, but we'll have to do another video about that. So here we go. I'm gonna do it one more time. And, uh, if you've just been silent, you can do it with me, but again, please forgive me for again. Let's do it. Ready? Now we're all in life. Thanks for stopping by. Peace and blessings.